This tutorial is designed to teach you about the differences between the two versions of GCSS Army. Before we get into the lesson, there are some key points that need to be discussed. The first key point is that there are two different versions of the GCSS Army system that can be utilized to complete tasks. Those versions are known as WinGUI and HTML GUI. The second key point is that the WinGUI version allows you to navigate through the system by clicking on graphical icons or pictures. The HTML version allows you to navigate through the system by selecting text or words. The HTML version is similar to how you operate it in PBIS. From the home screen, we're going to select HTML GUI and the HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language GUI. And the HTML version is driven by text or words. This is similar to how you operate it in PBIS. PBIS was driven by text or words. So the HTML version, um, some personnel find this to be a little bit easier just because it's too many icons in the WinGUI version for them. Everything will be spelled out on the button for them. For example, we see a button with the word menu on it to let you know that's your menu options. We also see a button with the word log off, letting you know that's how you can log off the system. We see the SAP Business Workplace button which can connect us to our email system inside of GCSS Army. We see a button where we can add transaction codes to our favorites. And we also see a button where we can delete those transaction codes that we no longer want to be saved in our favorites. As you can see, I have a few transaction codes saved into my favorites on my user menu for the HTML version. So the HTML is driven by text or words. So now we're going to select the WinGUI version. The WinGUI again stands for Windows Graphical User Interface. The WinGUI version is driven by icons or graphics. So as you can see here, there's some pictures there for you to navigate. We see the pencil there letting us know that we can edit or make a change. We see the trash can next to the pencil letting us know that we can delete a transaction code from our favorites. We also see the plus or the asterisk there to let us know that we can add a transaction code to our favorites. And right next to that, we see the triangle button pointing downwards towards that rectangle. That is the icon to open up your email inside of GCSS Army. We also see the yellow circle at the top letting us know that we can exit. So the WinGUI is driven off of icons. The HTML is driven off of text. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to CiscoCoppageLLC.com for more full detailed videos.